ICARJRF examination what is this all about we used to hear it many a times it's not only csir net examination is there or gate bt or gate excel or there is going to be icmr there's something called as ICARJRF examination the main motto of this examination is to pursue your jrf or srf and then converting them into a phd in a agricultural project very specifically so today in this video i'm going to talk about ICARJRF examination this this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So first let's talk about what is this ICAR JRF examination. There are a lot of differences between ICAR JRF and ARS net examination. Very specifically, this ICAR JRF is for pursuing your PhD. Whereas ARS net examination is for obtaining a job opportunity either as a scientist or becoming an assistant professor in state agricultural universities or uh, any other agricultural university. So do not get confused with these two examinations. So let's talk about ICAR JRF examination. So who is going to be the conducting agency? It's going to be NTA, which is National Testing Agency. It's not ICAR. So NTA conducts this examination on behalf of ICAR. So the purpose is to select JRF or SRF in order to obtain a PhD degree in agricultural or ICMR in ICAR institutes. And doctoral programs are available if you're going to clear this examination and there's going to be counseling which will be happening. After that, you can take up your field of interest in specific agricultural university. I'll be talking about after you clear this examination, what are the agricultural university you can go in for and obtain your PhD degree. These are some of the fields, some of the fields that I've listed here like agriculture, horticulture, forestry, veterinary, animal sciences, agri-engineering, community sciences, home fisheries, dairy sciences. So these are some of the uh, fields that are available in order to pursue your PhD. So this is about the doctoral programs that you can get after writing this examination and you can obtain your degree over there. And usually the examination will be conducted uh, during the month of June or July. And because of COVID, we might expect a little bit changes and mode of examination is online mode it's going to be a computer based test mode and the pattern of examination you're going to see only mcq based question objective based questions and the language of paper is going to be only in english it's not going to be in hindi and english together not bilingual very specifically for obtaining phd or jrf position and the duration of this examination is going to be for two hours and if anybody wanted to know about all the information about icar um, jrf examination you you can go to this website and you can look into this one. So I see our examination. You can just go in for this one. The next one. What are the examination centers? So I'm not going to list out all the examination centers. So you can write this online examination in almost eight to six cities across India. And what are the universities? Suppose if you clear this examination, you can just join as a JRF in specific agricultural universities. So what are the universities that comes under Indian Council of Agricultural Research? There are almost 75 agricultural universities are there and 64 state agricultural, veterinary, horticulture and fisheries universities are there and there are three central agricultural universities CAU Imphal and RPCAU Pusa and RLBCAU Jansi and there are five deemed universities are present and there are four uh, central universities BHU, AMU, Vishwabharati and Nagaland University. So if you clear this examination, you can pursue your PhD in any of these 75 agricultural universities. So there will be a counseling after this examination also. The next one, nationality. Who can apply for this ICAR JRF examination? All the Indians are eligible to apply for this examinations. So what is the age limit to apply for this examination? So if you're belonging to or if you have reached 20 years, then you can definitely go for this one. Below this age are not eligible for this. And there's no relaxation for any category. Suppose if you see in case of ARS or CSAR or ICMR, you will have relaxation for SESTs or for women everywhere. But here there is no relaxation for any category. And then eligibility criteria is going to be if you have a master's degree, 
degree in respective discipline. So one of the example I'm going to show you. So this is from the website. So I'm going to give you one example. Suppose if you wanted to write uh, code number eight, which is biochemistry, ICAR very courses, and you have to be having this degree plant biotechno biochemistry or specially biochemistry. One example I'm telling you. So accordingly, you need to have your master's in the specialized discipline. This is the eligibility. And the next question comes for us is when you're going to apply for this examination, what are the documents that you would be requiring? The first is mark sheets of your class 10th and 12th and your PG, master's, bachelor's uh, degree certificates or your transcript and your photograph, your signature and your thumb impression and of course your payment details, your debit or credit cards. Uh, you have to pay it. Now the most important things comes for us is the exam pattern for you. So as I already told you, it's going to be an online based examination and the maximum mark is going to be 120 marks. So the medium of examination or the paper is going to be almost English and the duration is going to be two hours, which is 120 minutes. And you will see all the MCQ type of questions and the total number of questions is 120. So all the every question carries almost one mark. So the total marks comes around 120 marks. Suppose if you make any negative marking or wrong answer for it, then there would be a deduction of 0.25 marks from the correct answers. So this is about the examination pattern of ICAR examination and the marking scheme for how it is going to be. There are three sections very specifically, section A, section B and section C. Section A comprises of your general knowledge, which is very specifically in your uh, agriculture, animal husbandry, fisheries, allied sciences. So whichever you're going to take, they will ask a general knowledge question. And this section is going to have 20 marks. So section A has 20 marks. All are going to be one mark questions only. And section B has 50 marks. And this is the question which comes from your core subject. I'll be showing you what are the core subjects that are available that you have opted for. That uh, core subject, you'll be writing it here. And section C questions will be asked from the specialized subject. There are two subjects that you will be selecting. One is your core subject, which is your core subject and the specialized subject. Suppose if you are belonging to biotechnology, you can take a biotechnology and specialization. You can take a plant biotechnology similar way. I'm just giving an example for this one. So section A is for general based questions based on all the things. Section B, your core subject that you have selected, which is 50 marks. And section C, the specialized subject for 50 marks. So every correct answer, you will get one mark. So totally 120 marks for you. And now the next important thing is what is those core topics are going to be topics I'm talking about. So if you go to the syllabus, you will find a lot of things beneath this one. So I'm just highlighting the titles. So genetics and plant breeding, seed science and technology, economic botany and plant genetic resources, plant pathology, nematology, agricultural entomology, sericulture, plant biochemistry, plant physiology, animal biotechnology. So this is going to be the topics that you will see it in the syllabus accordingly. Now the next question comes for us is yes, you know about the exam pattern. What are the syllabus? You can check on to the ICAR site where I have given in the website if you go there you will find the syllabus so that you can take up the syllabus and you can actually start revising for that one if you qualify icmr jrf you will be going for a counseling and then you can take up phd position in all the universities that i've been talking about these are the courses that are available like crop sciences horticulture veterinary science dairy science agricultural engineering, fisheries, natural resource management, agricultural extension. So there are doctoral programs that are available in this field also. The next important question comes for us is how to prepare for these ICAR or uh, JRF examinations very specifically in order to enter into an agricultural university for PhD position. The first important thing that most of the student find is not knowing the syllabus properly. That's the main important thing that you have to do is go to the website, download the syllabus and select your course of and your specialized subject and accordingly start preparing for this one. So the first foremost important thing is know the ICAR examination syllabus. I've written 2023 very specifically and understand the exam pattern. As I already talked about the pattern of examination, 120 uh, questions, 120 marks, party, uh, party or section A, section B and section C and understand the exam pattern and the topics. What are the topics that are included? and always have a timetable and map out a preparation plan. And 
and always invest a lot of time in finding out the best book for you and practice a lot of uh, questions over there. So it's always important when it comes to ICAR JRF for most of the examination, very specifically ICAR JRF questions. If you find it's very, very limited, you cannot have a lot of sources. So practice all the previous year question paper and start writing all the mock tests that are available online for you. So if you practice, then it's going to be very simple. Uh, this examination is very specifically, I would suggest is first understanding the syllabus and then making a timetable and then going for the previous year question paper. And then according to the cutoffs, if you've been selected, then you can start applying for the counseling and then you can enter into the agricultural universities, 75 agricultural universities that I've listed and then you can join as a PhD. So this is all about the ICAR JRF, everything you need to know about. And if you have any questions on ICAR JRF, this is mainly for obtaining a PhD position in agricultural university. If you have any sort of questions, you can put it in the comment section. So what do you think about um, the ICAR JRF examination? Do you find it's very easy or very tough? So put it in the comment section. Thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.